October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. According to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence, in 2020 in Washington State, 49.7% of crimes against people were domestic violence offenses. Today I'm speaking to a local nonprofit, Alternatives to Violence of the Palouse, to learn more. Their main office is located in the Gladish Community and Cultural Center on the third floor in room 305. ATVP has been serving domestic violence survivors since 1980. Coordinator of Domestic Violence Services, Katisha Moreno, explains the services ATVP offers to the survivors of the Palouse. We offer direct advocacy, so advocates that can meet with survivors and just go over safety planning. Um, we have legal advocates that can help survivors throughout the civil and criminal legal system. Um, we can help folks find counseling. We have support groups. Um, we can provide medical advocacy, so going with folks to um, doctor's appointments that are related to their victimization. Coordinator of Sexual Assault Services, Katrina Kirchfield, gives advice for domestic violence survivors and their loved ones. All across the country and all across the state, there are different agencies similar to ours. And, you know, they're really there to support you. We're here to support you no matter what that looks like. And it's okay to reach out. Um, and it's not a sign of weakness or anything. It is like really important to get that connection. And for people looking to support uh, domestic violence survivors, really just tuning in to checking in with your friends or your family members and letting them know like, hey, if anything's going on, I'm here to support you. As Domestic Violence Awareness Month comes to an end, it's important to continue the conversation year round. Moreau News 8, I'm Michelle Harmon.